Hello, welcome to the Friday, July 16th, 2021 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Thursday, I wrote up a fishing kit that I came across earlier this week. It was remarkable for sort of uh, two reasons, really. First of all, it did fish the United States Postal Service, which is not a very common uh, fishing target, but certainly does happen occasionally. In this case, the real goal was just to get a credit card number out of the user. And the ruse here was that, well, you had to change an address for a package that was about supposed to be delivered. And yes, you used the credit card number to verify your identity. The fishing kit came with some logs of victims. Only about a dozen or so people apparently fell for it, but there was also plenty of evidence of researchers and such poking around. So not sure how many of these victims were actual real. The second sort of interesting part was that the data exfiltration here, or really the reporting of the data back to the attacker, happened via Telegram, a simple a PHP script that did submit uh, the data to a Telegram API, which would then be received by the attacker. Overall, far from sophisticated, the phishing kit was uh, hosted on a compromised WordPress site that was pretty much missing any kind of security feature. And SonicWall took the little bit unusual step to warn its customers in a special notice that uh, attackers are taking advantage of an unpatched flaw in the version 8 of the firmware affecting the SMA100 and older SRA series devices. Version 8 of the firmware is end of life and there is no patch available for this version, but you can update to version 9 or 10 of the firmware. Of course, this may require that you do have a valid software subscription license for SonicWall. The vulnerabilities themselves have been known for quite a while and they have been exploited uh, for uh, quite a while. I've reported about this uh, before, uh, but this is yet no reminder. If you're running uh, this uh, particular uh, SMA or SRA device with a version 8 firmware, you really have to update right now and assume that the device has been compromised. And just to put some added urgency to this, SonicWall is reporting that these flaws are then being used to deploy ransomware. And well, the phishing kit I mentioned earlier, it was uh, deployed via a compromised WordPress site. WordPress, of course, is also famous for all the different plugins uh, that you can install on it. One of these more complex and larger add-ons is WooCommerce, a plugin that can turn your WordPress site into an e-commerce platform. Sadly, well, uh, this uh, particular uh, plugin or whatever you want to call it uh, does have uh, its flaws as well. And just earlier this week, a SQL injection vulnerability was patched in WooCommerce that is already being actively exploited. WordPress security company WordFence has a write-up about uh, the particular attacks and uh, some indicators of compromise. Of course, I would definitely not trust just blocking a couple of IP addresses. You have to patch uh, WooCommerce. And uh, yes, looks like a total of 200,000 different sites have this particular feature installed. And Google's Threat Analysis Group, or TAC, has published a brief blog post showing how four different zero-day vulnerabilities that they detected earlier this year had been abused at the time. There were two vulnerabilities in Chrome, one in Explorer, and one in WebKit, meaning Safari. All of them had been actively exploited. Uh, Google detected the exploitation, then reported uh, the vulnerability to respective vendors. And uh, Safari, for example, or Apple released a patch, I believe it was April, for this particular vulnerability. So now, the blog post gives us a little bit additional detail about how these vulnerabilities were found and how they were exploited at the time. And if you like to play with software-defined radios, one neat tool, one 
neat open source tool uh, to do that is Kiwi SDR. Uh, Kiwi SDR sadly had a backdoor that gave remote access uh, to systems as administrator or root uh, using a hard-coded password. Yesterday, the author of Kiwi SDR tried to sort of silently remove uh, this uh, particular uh, backdoor, but uh, well, uh, got caught essentially. And yes, it's out and public now that all devices running Kiwi SDR, which for example, often runs on uh, BeagleBones and similar uh, hardware devices uh, are susceptible to this particular backdoor. So please update quickly and uh, make sure that your devices are also not directly exposed. Well, that's it for today. So thanks again for listening. Yet again, if I forgot anything or so, please let me know. Please let me know if there are uh, any blogs or so I uh, should mention and let your friends know about this podcast and talk to you again on Monday. Thanks.